Hello, and welcome back to our 500 Days of Summer. I mean, our summer movie pre- preview, preview guide. Yeah. That's right. It's uh, it's July 15th, and we're going to be talking about uh, a little movie called Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, or as everybody else is calling it, uh, particularly all the posters for the movie, Harry Potter 6, mm. which is what it is. For people like me who don't read books, that's what it is. Because we can't remember the titles in order. Nope, not no. a bit. It all kind of runs together after six movies. But I'm actually looking forward to this one. I'm for it. I'm looking forward to it, but, I mean, it's been so long since the last one, so, yeah. Not, I mean, two years, which is, which is like, decades in franchise time, yeah. I suppose. But, um... Uh, I mean, it's nowhere near Alien than Aliens, but, you know. No. So bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. Oh, that's, that was a long time. Uh, time aside, I think Half-Blood Prince is going to be really cool. Uh, cause I am not really a Harry Potter fan. I am, B- but uh, I am too. You know, I've 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 seen all the odd numbered ones, <laughs> magically. <laughs> huh. Um, but this one I think is gonna be the one even number one that I'm actually gonna see because the trailer looks really good. Uh, particularly that teaser where it's just like the scene with Dumbledore and young, uh, Voldemort. Mm-hmm. That yeah. that hooked me. It has my it has my eight bucks. So it has my four bucks. Cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, do we need to really say any, yeah. any more about that? I mean, I mean the, the the whole point of the fifth one was basically to set up the sixth one. Yeah, it so, was. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I mean, yeah. all I can hope for is that the sixth one actually has a real plot. This is the darkest mm-hmm. of the books. Is it really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is just weird that they made it a PG rating with that. So hmm. it'll be interesting to be sure. Yeah, I was I was kind of looking forward to this back last year, but then they moved it for a number of different reasons. Yeah. Redo the rating. They wanted another Dark Knight for this year. <laughs> yeah, they needed money, especially now that uh, Watchmen kind of underperformed. Yeah, they really need the Harry Potter money. But anyway, we'll all be seeing it, I think. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Then the other movie coming out this week, um, we may not end up seeing it because it's in limited release. Um, this is the only other thing out because Harry Potter is going to be huge. Is 500 Days of Summer, uh, directed by Mark Webb. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is starring in a basically a love story with Zoe Deschanel, which Yay! is pretty much uh, the, the seal of approval as far as me and Trent go. Yeah. I'm cool with it. There you go. <laughs> this podcast approves of Zoe Deschanel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah. We really don't know much besides uh, the little that's in the trailer, and I don't even think I've seen the trailer. I don't know. Me either. Look it up. But um, it looks like it might be interesting. The uh, description on IMDb looks like your your typical, uh, you know, romantic comedy kind of thing, but it might surprise us. It might. Who knows? It's a romantic comedy that's in, in limited release, so I feel like there, it's got a few tricks up its sleeve. Yeah, there's <laughs> got to be something going on there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so... Uh, Harry Potter's going to be the big one. So come back uh, for the next show. It's going to be Wednesday night, uh, 9 o'clock p.m. And we'll be talking about Harry Potter almost definitely. Yes. Yeah. Till next time, kids. Have a good one. Rock and roll. See ya.